New here at 4 o'clock, Joliet's mayor says he has no intentions of resigning following an encounter that was captured on video between himself and a man who was protesting after George Floyd's death. WGN's Tanya Francisco is live in Joliet with more on his news conference today. Hi, Tanya. Hey there, Lourdes and Ben. Yeah, there have been several calls for Joliet Mayor Bob Odekirk to resign, including from a group of pastors. Well, today, Mayor Odekirk and a few community members spoke out, including a community activist who says the mayor is not getting a fair shake. The idea of resigning never crossed my mind. Joliet Mayor Bob Odekirk answered critics publicly for the first time, continuing to defend his actions after cell phone video showed him grabbing a young man by the neck as he was leaving a Black Lives Matter protest on May 31st, forcing that young man to the ground where he and his brother were swarmed by Joliet police officers. Odekirk says it was self-defense. I only acted to defend myself because I felt my personhood was threatened. So to those who, care, who choose to be critical, Please do not mischaracterize my actions as an attack. I sought to hurt no one, but only to preserve my own personal safety in the middle of the chaos. I support the mayor wholeheartedly. Some Joliet community members spoke on Odekirk's behalf, including the president of the South Suburban Black Chamber of Commerce, the Joliet Black Police Officers Association, and a community activist who says she saw what happened. I've never seen JPD be so violently attacked and the mayor be assaulted and then physically attacked to the point where he was pushed to the ground, falling onto another citizen. What do we want? Justice! Justice. What do we want? Yeah. What do Outside, we protesters, including one of the victims, it? Victor Williams, continued to call for Odekirk to be charged and questioned why his mayor, he was out policing the night of the demonstrations. He didn't know that was the mayor. The mayor was identified in no way as anything other than a white man in black clothes. That is it. He had no idea who it was. Odekirk, who spent 10 years on the Joliet police force, says he was just out in the community trying to defuse the situation. He, uh, as for the two brothers, they have filed a lawsuit. They have yet to be officially charged in the case, but they'll be in court on July 2nd. The Illinois State Police are now investigating this case. I'm live in Joliet. Tanya Francisco, WGN News. Okay.